What's going on guys? It's been uh, months since I've done a video and uh, yeah but today isn't gonna be about the Tigers it's gonna be about Prince Fielder and I wanted to come on here and give my thoughts on Prince Fielder because he was easily one of my all-time favorite players um you know I had a really you know, infamous video you could call it a few years ago when the Tigers had traded Prince Fielder for Ian Kinsler and I apologize for the shakiness of this video I'm doing this on my cell phone when they had traded uh, Ian Kinsler for Prince Fielder you know I got really bent out of shape about it and obviously the Tigers won that trade uh, by a long shot because Kinsler has been nothing but a staple of durability you know all-star caliber player a great defender he's been great especially this year but nonetheless, but Prince, he had that neck injury, and he, you know, he had the the longest running Ironman streak in baseball before he had that injury uh, with Texas, and it shorted him almost an entire season. And he came back last year, and he won Comeback Player of the Year, you know. And I was happy for Prince because I've always loved Prince, man. Ever since I can remember when he came up, oh six, oh seven. Just the guy, he was an amazing power hitter. Just an amazing power. Watching this dude just crush balls. I remember the season he hit 50. Just crushing balls. Him and Ricky Weeks and Corey Hart and Ryan Braun. They were just awesome, awesome tandem of players. You know, I remember that those Brewers teams weren't the best. I remember that 08 squad when they went to the playoffs, when they got CC Sabathia, and that was a really good squad. But you know, watching a young Prince Fielder, I was I was so happy. My Prince Fielder video was still on YouTube when the Tigers had signed him. I was so happy. His power, he has one of the best left-handed swings I'd ever saw. Easily. He was so aggressive. You know, he just attacked the ball. He threw his entire weight into the ball. and But his swing was a thing of beauty. Just watching him finish over the top and just chuck the bat down. You know, i never forget when he hit that walk-off home run. I don't remember who it was against. I want to say it was the Giants. They were Milwaukee. They were at Miller Field. And Prince hit that walk-off. And he had jumped on home plate. And all the Brewers players fell down. And they really pissed off. I want to say it was the Giants. I'm probably wrong. But I can't remember. It was quite a few years ago now. But they got so pissed. They had to get beaned for that. But that was just so cool. You know, the back-to-back -back home run derby. I mean, this was a guy. You know, I saw him take BP. The Tigers used to on Fox Sports Detroit would uh you know broadcast BP once in a great while they'd have a pregame show and this guy would hit balls in left field on the concourse where you walk through. Now that's no that's like thirty five rows he's clearing. I mean he completely cleared it on a bounce. It's not like they hit the one of the cop you know a couple of the top rows and then bounced into the concourse. It was straight on the concourse. And this guy he was just a fun player to watch, you know, just watching the big man, you know, as a big guy, you know, watching him hustle. You know, he wasn't the best defender at first base. Uh, he was really good at scooping the ball, though. He had very good hands. Um, he had stone feet, but he had good hands. But, you know, I remember watching this guy get a triple at Fenway and sliding in head first and stealing the base, uh, you know, when the people weren't paying attention. I mean, he was one of my all-time favorite players. And to see him have to go out like that, and I was watching this press conference. Uh, I just watched it on Facebook. It was so sad to see this guy in his early 30s, his kids sitting there with their heads down, you know, in tears. You know, Prince is sitting there, you know, choked up, crying, which, you know, I don't blame him, he's 32. And this, his career is done. It's done already. And, you know, it's kind of hard to watch in the last couple of years. I mean, even his best year with the Tigers only hit 30 home runs. I mean, it was never the fielder of, you know, when he came over to the Tigers, he's averaging 38. I mean, this was a guy who was just a monster. He was a monster. And, you know, he started declining and, you know, he had some personal issues and whatnot. But, man, those years in Milwaukee, in his first year in a Tigers uniform, he was he was a monster. And he was fun to watch. He had a great personality on the field. I remember when he ate a fan's nacho uh, when he went to the, to the foul ground to get a, a foul ball. Um, you know... I remember a game where him and Miggy went back to back at Fenway. I remember a couple of games where he hit some monster shots at Fenway. 
but it, it's really sad to see this guy's career ended by a neck injury. You know, he's 32. Oh, he's early 30s. I don't know if he's 32. I'm pretty sure he's 32. He hit as many home runs as his dad. That's crazy. Him and his dad are both going to finish with 319 home runs. Uh, nearly the same, identical in RBIs, too. They're not too far off. But nonetheless, to see this guy's career over, easily one of my all-time favorite players. Easily one of the prettiest left-handed swings. So entertaining. Just the, the threat of a home run. You know, I remember his first game as a Tiger. It was a series against the Red Sox. I remember his second game, he and Miguel Cabrera both had home runs that game. In that 2012, uh, 2013 year. Oh, no, it was 2012. It was 2012. Because he was replacing Victor. Because Victor was hurt because of his knee. And I remember just like, this season is going to be is gonna be magical. You got Victor, or you got Prince and Miggy backing each other up. And Prince had a great year that year. I'll never forget there was a game they were playing the Orioles. And Prince went deep twice. And the second one went above the wall. Onto the, up, uh, onto the standing room railing. And the, uh, his other home run went, you know, it tied the game. He had two, he had a tying home run and a go-ahead home run in that game. And it was amazing. Because I remember Shannon Hogan was talking on TV. And they all of a sudden zoomed right back to the field real quick. Just to see this guy get it on the concourse. Uh, in dead center field. I mean, his power was amazing. And, you know, his personality was awesome. He was like, a, he's a big kid playing the game. And him and Miggy, their bromance was so cool to watch. I loved it. When those two guys, you know, that 2012 year was so magical. I loved that. That team was so good. That 2013 team was the best team, but nonetheless, uh, you know, just watching that 2013 was so much fun. You know, Miggy wins a triple crown, Prince hits 30, has, you know, hits his highest average of his career, nearly a 400 on base. He was amazing. Amazing. And it was fun. You know, I, I'll never forget when they signed him. It was so much fun. Spring training was so hyped that year. They were selling out. They sold out a game so quick. And then, you know, it was the largest home opener ever, home opener crowd when he had came into Detroit. Uh, I was actually down there that day. It was insane, you know, for everyone to see Prince's first game. But I'm really sad he's retiring, and it's really sad how he went out, you know, with a, with a neck injury. But it just goes to show you, you can't take the game for granted. And, uh, you know, anything could happen at the blink of an eye. And you know, he had to do what he had to do. But it really hurt hard. To watch him up there crying and his kids right next to him, you know, when he's sitting there, you know, trying to hold it together and his kids are sitting there trying to hold it together, you know, because their dad's sitting there crying his eyes out. And you, you can't, you can't blame him. I mean, it's been something, I mean, his dad, he's been in big league clubhouses, you know, since he was his kid's age. Because his dad playing for the Tigers and the Blue Jays and the Yankees and everything else. So, you can't, you can't blame him. So, you know, I wanted to come on here and talk about Prince. He was my, one of my favorite players. You know, in that video, I was dead wrong. That, that was stupid for the Tigers to trade. Prince Fielder free and Kinsler. Obviously, it wasn't. Uh, you know, they dumped salary, and Kinsler's been absolutely outstanding. And, uh, you know, Fielder's obviously retiring already. And uh, Tigers are actually still on the hook for this money. So is the, the Rangers, that's that contract. Um, but, yeah, I loved Prince Fielder. Easily, easily, easily one of my all-time favorite players. Gorgeous swing, fun personality. I loved watching him here in Detroit. Mammoth power. You knew there was a threat of the home run every single time up. He was amazing, and I'm really sad to see him go. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I can't say when I'll make another video or if I make another video, but Prince Fielder's done. I'm going to miss him.